Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about a common health problem that affects many people around the world, kidney stones. What are kidney stones, what causes them, what are the symptoms, and how can they be treated? Let's find out. Kidney stones are hard deposits of minerals and salts that form inside the kidneys. They can vary in size, shape, and composition. Some are as small as a grain of sand, while others can be as large as a golf ball. Kidney stones can cause a lot of pain and discomfort, and sometimes they can lead to serious complications. There are different types of kidney stones, depending on what substances they are made of. The most common types are Calcium stones, these are the most common type of kidney stones. They are usually made of calcium oxalate or calcium phosphate. They can form when there is too much calcium or oxalate in the urine, or when the urine is too acidic. Uric acid stones, these are more common in men than in women. They are usually made of uric acid, a waste product that is normally dissolved in the urine. They can form when the urine is too acidic, or when there is too much uric acid in the body due to certain foods, medications, or medical conditions. Struvite stones, these are more common in women than in men. They are usually made of magnesium ammonium phosphate. They can form when there is a urinary tract infection that causes the urine to become alkaline and produce ammonia. Cysteine stones, these are rare and usually run in families. They are made of cysteine, an amino acid that is part of the protein in the body. They can form when there is a genetic disorder that causes too much cysteine to leak into the urine. The exact cause of kidney stones is not always clear, but there are some factors that can increase the risk of developing them. These include Dehydration, not drinking enough water or fluids can make the urine more concentrated and increase the chance of stone formation. Diet, eating too much salt, animal protein, oxalate-rich foods, or supplements can affect the balance of minerals and substances in the urine and increase the risk of certain types of stones. Obesity, being overweight or obese can increase the levels of uric acid and calcium in the urine and increase the risk of kidney stones. Medical conditions, some diseases or disorders that affect the kidneys, urinary tract, digestive system, or metabolism can increase the risk of kidney stones. For example, hyperparathyroidism, inflammatory bowel disease, gout, diabetes, urinary tract infections, etc. Family history, having a close relative who has had kidney stones can increase your chances of having them too. So how do you know if you have a kidney stone? Well, some kidney stones do not cause any symptoms and may pass unnoticed in the urine. However, larger stones or those that block the flow of urine can cause severe pain and other signs and symptoms such as pain in the back, side, abdomen, groin, or genitals that comes and goes in waves and changes in intensity. Blood in the urine, hematuria, that makes it pink, red, or brown. Cloudy or foul-smelling urine. Difficulty urinating or feeling a strong urge to urinate. Nausea and vomiting. Fever and chills if there is an infection. If you experience any of these symptoms, you should see a doctor as soon as possible for diagnosis and treatment. The doctor will ask you about your medical history, symptoms, diet, and lifestyle. They will also perform some tests to confirm if you have a kidney stone and to determine its type, size, and location. These tests may include blood tests to check for levels of calcium, uric acid, electrolytes, and other substances that may cause kidney stones. Urine tests to check for pH, volume, infection, and other substances that may indicate kidney stones. X-rays, to see if there are any visible stones in the kidneys or urinary tract. 
Ultrasound, to use sound waves to create images of the kidneys and urinary tract and detect any stones. CT scan, to use x-rays to create detailed images of the abdomen and pelvis and detect even tiny stones. The treatment for kidney stones depends on several factors such as the type, size, location, and cause of the stone as well as your overall health and symptoms. Some possible treatment options are Conservative treatment, this involves drinking plenty of water and fluids to flush out the stone from your system. You may also take pain relievers such as ibuprofen or naproxen to ease the discomfort. Your doctor may also prescribe some medications such as alpha blockers or calcium channel blockers to relax the muscles in your ureter and help the stone pass more easily. Shockwave lithotripsy, SWL This is a non-invasive procedure that uses sound waves to break up the stone into smaller pieces that can be passed in the urine. You may be given anesthesia or sedation during this procedure. You may also need to drink a lot of water after the procedure to flush out the fragments. Ureteroscopy This is a minimally invasive procedure that involves inserting a thin tube called a ureteroscope through your urethra and bladder into your ureter. The ureteroscope has a camera and a light at the end that allows the doctor to see the stone. The doctor can then use a laser, a basket, or forceps to break up or remove the stone. You may be given anesthesia or sedation during this procedure. You may also need to have a stent placed in your ureter to keep it open and prevent swelling or infection. Percutaneous nephrolithotomy, PCNL This is a surgical procedure that involves making a small incision in your back and inserting a tube called a nephroscope through your skin into your kidney. The nephroscope has a camera and a light at the end that allows the doctor to see the stone. The doctor can then use a laser, an ultrasonic probe, or forceps to break up or remove the stone. You will be given general anesthesia during this procedure. You may also need to have a stent placed in your ureter or a tube placed in your kidney to drain urine. The recovery time and possible complications of these procedures vary depending on the type, size, and location of the stone as well as your overall health and response to treatment. Some common complications include bleeding, infection, injury to the kidney or ureter, recurrence of stones, etc. Therefore, it is important to follow your doctor's instructions and advice after the treatment. To prevent kidney stones from forming again, you should make some changes in your diet and lifestyle such as Drink enough water and fluids to keep your urine clear or pale yellow. Limit your intake of salt, animal protein, oxalate-rich foods, and supplements. Eat more calcium-rich foods such as dairy products, leafy greens, nuts, and seeds. Avoid calcium supplements unless prescribed by your doctor. Maintain a healthy weight and exercise regularly. Treat any underlying medical conditions that may cause kidney stones. Kidney stones are not fun, but they are treatable and preventable. If you have any questions or concerns about kidney stones, please consult your doctor or healthcare provider. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more health-related videos. See you next time.